faithful to God today that God in Christ yeah. has granted me this privilege to be with my friend. And I know we've been friends over 30 some years. God has allowed us to come again today and to share with you. So glad to see Sister Ellis, the matriarch of the Ellis family. I've known her all my life. Her, uh, we were neighbors in Alexandria and so glad to see you along with your family today. Why don't you stand with me as we read together out of the Word of God. Today I want to read out of the book of Exodus in chapter 14 beginning at verse number 10. In the book of Exodus, chapter 14, beginning at verse 10, these are the words of the text. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. Mm -hmm. And they were so afraid. Yeah. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. Yeah. And they said unto Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians there than we should come into this wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, yeah. and see the salvation of the Lord, yeah. which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, ye shall not see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Right. Just for a few moments, let me speak on God is still in control. God is still in control. In the context of our scripture today, we have the very beautiful movement of God in the life of the children of Israel. Yeah, yeah. When we follow this story, when we see the hand of God, we come to understand the redemptive work of God and how God deals with his people. And when we are willing to trust him, yeah. how God has the power to bring us out. For over 430 years, Israel has been in Egyptian bondage. They've been under hard servitude. They've been under masters who were unbearable. They've been there for 430 years. But God heard the cry of his children, Israel, as they were in Egypt. And he called Moses on the Midianite hillside. He said unto Moses, go to Egypt. And when you get there, tell Pharaoh that thus said the Lord God of Israel, let my people go. Moses goes and does as God tells him to do. Pharaoh raises up and says, who is the Lord that I should obey him? Here they are yeah. in this desolate place. 
Jesus. Yeah. If they are in this state of desperation, yeah. standing at the Red Sea, yeah. mountains on both sides, yeah. and Pharaoh's army pursuing them. Yeah. You know, when I read this, I come to understand that even when we walk with God, Enough. When they come to 
today. Yes, sir. And yes, each of us today <laughs> don't want to forget yeah. Yeah. where God has brought us from. Yeah. 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 And when new challenges come, yeah. Yeah. and when new difficulties come, yeah. we decide in our mind yeah. we need to take the matter into our own hands. Yeah. Right. 